In these problems, we are trying to convert decimals into fractions. And you need to know your places. Uh, you know in a number like, oh, 134, this place is the 100's place. This place is the 10's place, how many 10's you have. And this place is the 1's place. Then comes the decimal point, and we go the other direction. This place right here, let's say this was 134.2756. This would be the tenths place. This would be the hundredths place here. Then the thousandths, and then the ten thousandths. So if I had a number like this, 0 0.001, this is the tenths, this is the hundredths, this is the thousandths, this would be one one thousandth. And the way I would write it would be like this, one over a thousand. So that should get us started. Let's look at this first problem. It says, which shows 0 0.3 as a fraction? This first place behind the decimal point is the tenths. So that's three tenths, or three over ten, which is answer D. This next one's a little bit harder, but we can do this. This is the tenths place, this is the hundredth place, and this is the thousandths place. So we're going to use that last place, and we'll put all of those numbers, 145 over 1,000. And you might think that's your answer, but then when you look at the answer choices, you'll see it's not uh, up there. So we have to do a little bit of reducing on this. And I guess I'm going to look at the choices here before I um, and try just blindly to reduce this. These two both are greater than 1, and our original decimal is not greater than 1. That's less than 1, 0 0.145. So I'm thinking it's not A or B. So it's either got to be C or D. And my guess is it's going to be C because I can't reduce 1,000 and get to 2,000. So I'm going to use this as a hint for how to reduce just to test if C is really right. If I, to get 1,000 um, to be 200, I'd have to divide it by 5. So let's divide the top and the bottom by 5. So 145 divided by 5, aha, that is 29. And 1,000 divided by 5 is 200. So sometimes the job of reducing is a little bit easier when you peek ahead at the answer choices, if you have them. All right, let's look at one more. This one says, which represents 4.75 as a mixed number? And you might know right off the bat what the 0.75 part is. There's going to be the 4 as, as a number and part of your answer. And so you can probably rule out A and C. B does, is just a 4, so it doesn't do anything with the 0.75. So the, really, the only good answer here is 4 and 3 fourths. And you might know that 7, 0.75 is 3 fourths. Think about a dollar. 75 cents is 3 quarters of a dollar. It's the same idea. If you didn't know that, or if this said, I don't know, 0.67 or something like that, and you needed to figure out what the fraction was, you would take this and look at the places. Here's tenths. Here's hundredths. So take that last place. Use that as your denominator and put the numbers on top. So we have 4 and 75 one hundredths. And then you'd want to reduce this. And you could try dividing them both by 5. Um, that would definitely work. Um, in this case, I know you can actually take a 25 out of each. Divide 75 by 25, you get 3. Divide 100 by 25, you get 4. So your answer is 4 and 3 fourths. So that's a little bit about converting decimals to fractions. My name is Larry. I'm a teacher at EdVisions Off Campus. It's an online project-based school in Minnesota. If you're interested, you can find us on the web at lovethisschool.org. Thanks.